What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris, this is 4K Motoring and I want to give you a follow-up video on our PackTalk Pro for the latest edition of the PackTalk line from Cardo. I wanted to let you know how this one held up, some of my experiences and some of the complaints I've heard just so you guys can make your decision about getting your own communicator. As a side note, Cardo has their 20% off sale going again for Columbus Day coming up on October 14th and 15th only. You can get up to 20% off pretty much their whole line. The PackTalk Pro is actually on sale this time, only 10% off, but still that's the biggest sale we've seen on it so far. So if you've been considering getting one of these devices or upgrading, now is definitely the time. Okay, so we've had the PackTalk Pro for a couple months since it was introduced, and overall we've been loving it. Now the setup was super easy. Like I said, it uses the same cradle as the PackTalk Edge, and to be honest with you guys, I've run PackTalk products since the PackTalk Bold came out. So this has been several years of PackTalk with their dynamic mesh communication, which kind of changed the game as far as rider-to-rider -rider communication, especially in groups, was pretty phenomenal. The second generation with the Edge when that came out, I got one of those and was super happy with it. I did have a couple issues with some faulty batteries, but after talking to Cardo and some other users, there's been some of these issues throughout the market, but they say about just over half a percent of these, 0.5%, something like that, is what the failure rate is for these devices and what returns they've had. So if you guys have been concerned about getting one or heard some horror stories, Cardo says that number is pretty low. I had two of the devices myself that had failed with bad batteries. But other than that, every replacement I've gotten since then and every unit I've gotten since then has worked flawlessly. So I'll take Carter's word for it. Very low failure rate. These things are pretty awesome. Now we switched specifically to the PackTalk Pro from the Cardo Edge, mostly because of the added features. Now the Pro is really very similar to the Edge. It has the same form factor, it is a different color, but otherwise it's pretty similar in most respects. What it comes with is the bigger 45 mil speakers. You can buy them separately, but it's gonna cost you more that way. All packaged together, you're saving a little bit of money getting the bigger speakers. I can tell you the overall range and bass is a whole lot better and it is definitely noticeable with these bigger speakers. I would recommend it, it makes it a whole lot more enjoyable. And it came with a couple other internal features like auto on and off and crash detection. I want to talk about those specifically. Now, the auto on and off function is something that I think all these devices should have. And after you get used to it, you really become dependent on it. It is just the way these things should operate. When you set the device down for about 60 seconds is what it takes of no movement, it'll shut itself down. And it's not completely off. Obviously, it is looking for movement, so there is some power being used, but it is incredibly minimal. It detects when you pick it back up, and by the time you put it on your head, it is already turned on and working. And this thing works all the time. I've been using this since it came out, and this feature works flawlessly. I love it. It amazingly streamlines your daily riding. The only flaw, and this is really the only gripe I have with it, is normally when you turn your PackTalk Edge or even the PackTalk Pro off manually with the buttons, it will tell you the battery percentage. When it automatically shuts off, it does not. So that's one little flaw. You kind of have to stay on the battery percentage and turn it off manually occasionally just to figure out what it is. For those of you that stay connected to the Cardo Connect app and are actually connecting it to your phone, it will tell you the battery percentage. So that's not a big deal for you. For me personally with my Multistrada, I'm connecting through the Ducati infotainment system. And because of that, I don't get a lot of information. I'm not using the Cardo Connect app. That leads into my second feature that I really have had a big problem with, and that is the crash detection. Now, Cardo just had a big update for the PackTalk Pro models with this crash detection feature to optimize it, make it actually work, and give you the ability to toggle it on and off. So if you haven't done that yet, make sure your PackTalk Pro is up to date. My problem is, again, I don't connect my phone directly to the PackTalk Pro. I know it has two different Bluetooth channels, so you probably could in most bikes, but on my Ducati, I have the Dash, the Ducati Smart Infotainment System that has Bluetooth that it is connected through, and I also have my Garmin. My PackTalk Pro is connected to both of those. I have one channel going to the bike, my bike is connected to my phone, and it is kind of the talk through that allows the bike to be the remote control for that device for my phone. And then I also have the PackTalk Pro connected to my GPS so I can hear navigation instructions and alerts. Because of that, 
I don't have access to the crash detection. It seemed like for the first little bit when I was using it, it stayed connected. Whenever I put the helmet on, it would say crash detection enabled and it seemed to work fine. But after a little while, it stopped doing that and it would never reconnect. So for whatever reason, it doesn't actually work through a middleman. Your phone has to stay connected to the PackTalk Pro for this feature to actually work. And otherwise you just gotta notice crash detection unavailable every time it powers on. You do have the option in the app now to turn that off, but that was one of the features that made this PackTalk Pro stand out. So the question is, is it really worth it if all those features don't work? To put simply, here's my takeaway. The PackTalk Bold was the first unit out that brought into the DMC mesh, the dynamic communication, the mesh communication, and a lot of the modern features we've come to know from Cardo. Now, that unit can still be found online, and if you can find it, usually you can get a pretty good deal on it because it's been around for a couple years. That said, it is the first iteration of these things, and it is not exactly flawless. While it does connect and it does all these things, sometimes you have to reset it a couple times. It is a little bit slower to do things. And overall, the refinement just isn't there. Think of your cell phones six, seven years ago, how they were. They were functional for sure, but could they keep up with all the data transfer and all the processing that the modern ones could? Absolutely not. That brought us into the PackTalk Edge. And that was one of my favorite devices. It was super streamlined. It had the magnetic attachment and it brought the second generation mesh and connection, all the algorithms, all the software side, all the hardware, and really made this thing a whole lot more modern. Now, my experience with the Edge, like I said, I had a couple battery failures in these things, but aside from that, every time I went to pair or connect with somebody else, a new group, an existing group, it just worked the first time every time which is what the PackTalk Bowl should have done. Obviously, it takes a little bit of time for this technology to get out there. They really perfected it with the Edge. Right now, I think for the best value, if I'm recommending one of these things to most people, it's gonna be the PackTalk Edge, especially with the 20% off you can get now. I'll leave a code in the description down below and on screen here, 20% off today and tomorrow. That is a great deal, and this thing is probably the best bang for the buck communicator you can buy right now. Now, they have the PackTalk Neo, which honestly, I don't really know the functionality gains that you get from that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why that one exists, but we have the PackTalk Pro as the Apex Predator here. This gives you those big speakers, it gives you the crash detection, the auto on off function, and really the latest and greatest from Cardo, but that is coming at a price premium. Now, again, if you want to buy the bigger speakers with the PackTalk Edge or any of the other models that are available for it, it becomes more expensive than just getting the PackTalk Pro to begin with. So if that's a route you think you're gonna go, just go ahead and get the Pro, it's gonna save you some money. Again, 10% off right now, biggest sale I've had yet. So I invite you guys to share your thoughts of the Cardo products. If you think there's anything better than that out right now, please let me know, I'd love to check that out. So far, the best I found is Cardo, and they keep advancing and keep moving the bar forward, and really, the products are awesome. Again, I have discount codes in the link down below for October 14th and 15th only. This is the 20% off sale that we haven't seen in a while. They've had pretty low supply lines, I guess, or supply amounts. So they finally get back to the sales. We were having them pretty regularly before. Again, if you're even considering upgrading or getting one for the first time, now is definitely the time. Go ahead and hit the link below, go to Cardo's website, enter the code down below, and see how much you can save if that's really in your budget. Like I said, the PackTalk Bold, was an awesome unit, a little bit out of date now, adds a little bit of frustration, but at least you get some of the fun features still compatible with the PackTalk Edge and PackTalk Pro. But for the money, especially with 20% off, PackTalk Edge, I think is the way to go right now. If you want the crash detection, if you want the auto on off and the big speakers, and that is really of value to you, the PackTalk Pro is available now for 10% off. Check it out, the link below as well. As always, I'm Chris, this is 4K Motoring. If you have any comments or suggestions, feel free to leave them down below and we'll catch you next time.